All right, so two weeks are in the books here in the Jets franchise. Unfortunately, we lost last week to the Cleveland Browns, 28 to 25, when we were up 24 to 13, I believe. Um, so week three, we're going to be facing the vaunted Super Bowl champion Patriots in our division uh, matchup. Before I did that, though, I went ahead and I kind of looked at our roster a little bit and kind of looked at what our needs are. So right now, this is what I see. Uh, offensively, we need a lot in terms of our um, offensive line. Our offensive line is terrible. Uh, we need a laugh. And a lot of these guys are going to be gone, too. They're either going to be old and need new contracts, or they're just bad. So uh, we need a left tackle, a right tackle, a center. Um, we're also going to need another backup uh, halfback after next year as well because uh, the contract's going to be expired for that person. Um, and then we also need a defensive tackle because his contract is expiring and he's getting older. Um, so we're either going to need to get one through free agency or through the draft. Uh, the middle linebacker spot is okay. We just have that injury to Williamson, but I think that will fix itself once uh, once he comes back from injury. So well, I don't really like these ratings a whole lot, um, the way that they're displayed here in Madden, because if somebody's hurt, they don't take them into account because they're not part of the lineup at the time. Um. We do need a left outside linebacker and a defensive tackle next year. And then uh, I, I'd like to get a new kicker as well because the kicker's a level D. Bad news. So what I did was, since we're projected to go 21st in the first round, I started kind of looking through um, who was available around that spot. And um, so we have a left tackle here who looks to be like my choice. That's one spot up. So hopefully we can nab him somehow. If not, we could pick up uh, Matt Bradfield here. But I would really like to grab Ian Sawyer. I also looked at this defensive tackle as well because we do need to get a defensive tackle. And uh, this right tackle here was also a first round projection, but he's actually a second rounder. So. You might be able to get, and he's the top right tackle um, projected in the draft. So you might be able to get him in the second round. I don't know. But that's all I've done so far with the scouting and um, our training. So we're ready to go. Week three here, Jets Patriots. Let's get it on. The, the bell, bell is tolling. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. I'm Jonathan, I'm Jonathan Coachman. Coachman. This is Madden NFL Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll get a look at Le'Veon Bell, fresh off a 100-yard performance a week ago, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godwin and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense. Jesus is arriving. Special teams. Thank you, Jesus, for we will play in, in your sanctum. They were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Here's Brissett. Out right here to Herndon. Yeah. Stiff arm that sucker. Be ready to play. 
That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in. Now a run. This is Bilal Powell. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion. 10 after the incompletion on first down. We're set now. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And we're set on first down. Buying time to his left. Oh my God, and dude! This go for the end zone. Oh my goodness! Incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. But both guys actually missed the actual catch so too. This will be accepted as it moves the offense back as it brings up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. Oh, when I shit. Oh, they get to the football. It's Stop him. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Ah, shit. And nothing but daylight ahead. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. As his guys are you can't give that to the Patriots, man. guys are able to strike first here in this opening They're hard quarter. enough with Tom Brady. You don't need to give them that shit. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They had some distance to go. They certainly did, and, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants type of coaching, but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. On second down, it's Bell, and he can't quite oh. get there. Tackled down at the one. 12 yards there and a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get my third and goal? They'll run. This is Powell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. No, no, I'm not sure if it was worth, though, the, the uh, injury to lay the umbrella. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Able to punch it in on third down. Hopefully he's not hurt for the whole game. For those guys on the sideline, they didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the... On second and nine, Brady. And this is caught. Oh, it's out of You got a fucking one. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. This has to be great for the psyche of this offense. Presented with bad field position, yeah. they didn't let it stop them. They rolled downfield and scored a touchdown. Oh, God, they went into the pylon cam. Oh! Completions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they have the football that will set up shot. No! The ball at the 18-yard line in the red zone. Brady now on first down. And caught by Thomas. Touchdown, New England. Demarius Thomas. His fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to regain What can the I do? And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the Hackley because when you get into the fifth round, you should not counting on him to become a star. Yeah! He's going to go down Set. just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. His name Fat Sumo? <laughs> <laughs> Fatsumi. On third and goal. Brady gonna throw. Get him. Yeah, Under fat. Again and down he goes yeah, again. Williams. <laughs> Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. That will go down as a from the gun. Here's the set. Oh, be incomplete. Why didn't you catch it? You can tell they were hoping for a flag oh there offensively. God, Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the hey, it's all one score game, guys. Contact coming from after the sack on first down. Brissett, a hit turned it over the middle. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken. Nowhere to go, just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. They're saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Run, quarterback! Run! He's got the first Score! <laughs> Oh my God! They left the whole side of the the field open. As they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. He can't throw it, but he can run. Split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what, I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here. But if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. Well, that's going to be enough for him to get the ball back as we'll head back in for the final moments of this one. Finds his man, Watson, over the ah. And he's brought down after a very nice game. From midfield, here's Brady. It'll go as a gain of 25. Guys, you're, you're back in coverage. Fucking cover some of bounds inside the 35. Fumble! Fumble! Get the ball! Get up! Oh my god, get up so he can run! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Okay, this is happening. This is real. This is real. Wow, dude. Throw it! Catch it! Jesus Christ, catch it! Fifty percent, four for eight. This will be third and nineteen. Get out of bounds! Get out of bounds! Okay, good, good, good. He'll get seventeen back there, but okay, we need one big long throw down. here and then a timeout. Going for this thing on fourth down. Now Brissett on fourth down. No Fucking asshole! He goes down. Adam Gase rolls the dice. So the deficit for this offense is Are you kidding points. me? They cut that field goal. Would tie it, a touchdown would win it. What? Look at the clock. Not much time left and just one timeout remaining. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. That had to have been a huge ass field goal he over. kicked. Well, going into the final play of this game, I should have punted they it. That they Damn it! Some type of a miracle there that at was the very terrible. end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, God exactly damn it! Right. They took it down line. to the last play. We're still. You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for New England, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they'll hit the road next week to That's take the second on the game Buffalo in a row that we shouldn't have lost. Meanwhile, for the Jets, or, I mean, they'll fall to I one could have had a two. chance to win it. And they'll get the extra week to think about but this I... one as they return to action in two weeks' time. Hold on here. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Fifty-four Gordon. yard field watching, everybody. We'll see you next 37. time. Now, see, if I wouldn't have got sacked, mega sacked there, see, we were at the 48. We were on the 48. There was no way he was going to kick a field goal. But you got sacked for an 11-yard loss. Boom, field goal. Ah, god damn it. Okay, so we've resubmitted an offer for Leonard Williams. He wants a better bonus. We negotiated with Robbie Anderson he accepted so he's good to go for next year I'm not going to resign Steve McClendon we're going to get a new uh, defensive tackle for next year whether it be in free agency or the draft and then I resigned Brian Poole our cornerback here as well oh resigned Leonard William all right pal um I'm not going to resign a backup for that much we're going to go ahead and withdraw our offer to him. So, yeah, we re So, it's the week after the buy. We've re signed uh, Leonard Williams, gave him that fat bonus he wanted. And uh, we're going to go ahead and withdraw our, our offer for uh, Belial Powell. He's getting a little bit up there in age, 30 years old. And for that much for a backup running back, eh, 
kind of a bit much to ask for. So we're going to go out to the free agency and get ourselves a backup uh, halfback. All right, guys, we're one and two. We probably shouldn't be like this, but we're facing a one and three Philadelphia Eagles team. So maybe we can get back on track here in week number five after the bye week. We have had a week off of rest. Um, let's take a look at our injury status here before we get started. I just want to make sure. Okay, so in two weeks' time, Enunua could be back. And next week, we could get our starting quarterback, thank God, in Darnold, so I can actually throw the freaking football. But until then, let's face this struggling 1-3 Philadelphia Eagles team. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the New York Jets and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, the city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago, boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. Now, they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Zach Ertz, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, they have to be loving this start to the first quarter. 33-7 fucking polio out there. Already. They feel very confident. Trying to get the ball back to their offense. Now wins. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Defense. Roughing the passer? What did he do? Dude, we didn't even tackle him. Oh my god, it is turning into the real NFL. Wentz now on first down. Intercepted! Wow, one interception. Beautiful play, 22. Jermaine Johnson, baby. Woo! First down, Brissett. A screen to Bell. He's in! And he's Touchdown, in. Le'Veon Touchdown Bell off Jets. the halfback screen. Le'Veon Bell with his second TD of the game. Looking to throw again on second down. Reset. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a uh, touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they Why? got right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. Why? Four. Fourth down, Brissett. He's going to loft one deep over that's the middle. Team. And that's caught. He caught it. Oh, three. my God. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. And this is intercepted. And that Ooh. should do it. He's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. 
Whatever. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yuck. And they were spurred on by a strong performance One and three team in that fourth quarter now. as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. I need Everyone to stop to trying to go down the field. The entire game, but when you throw so one far. In the fourth we need quarter, to think and dunk our way down the field. That's what I got to do. I got to treat them to take over, like the right? shit the that they that are. The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. They can't throw they it deep. They closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.